welcome to the Chaffee Art Center. We're doing another It's All About the Arts, and you'll see all around us are um, wonderful puppet type um, gestures and things like that that Fran Bull, um, everybody knows amazing Fran Bull, um, she does these really, really interesting pieces. Um, like <laughs> all these people around us, yes, some of the it makes kids. Makes the room feel very lively, doesn't it? It does. Um, anyway, we're at the Chaffee Art Center. I'm getting kind of sidetracked with brambles, but um, when the kids come in here, because we have the camps, all we, you know, people go, look, at, are they afraid? I'm like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because they're so colorful and they're so cool. You know, some of them will be like, hmm, and then they walk in because they're too curious not to look, you know? Right, absolutely. Yeah, so we've been having a fun summer. Catherine, my, yeah. this is my sidekick here, Stephanie Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> sidekick of Eon. Anyone of who's Eons. watched Peg TV for a while knows that we're and knows together. And knows her <laughs> from uh, the Humane Society, from internships, from... The parade. Your husband and your business, yeah. from... Yeah. yeah, woman of many talents. Oh, well, thank you. It's always just fun to sit here with you. But yes, my daughter's here doing a camp. Yes, it's musical um, theater camp now, and there's, there's lots of camps um, going on this summer. So it's been fun having all the, the kids here, and they always like to come in in the morning and sit with Luigi and I. Here's Luigi. And um, <laughs> they sit with us and play with Luigi, feed him, because he likes to be hand-fed by them. Hand -fed by them. Mm -hmm. I know, and then at the end of the day, but... Um, but I thought before I talk too much stuff about everything that's going on, maybe we should talk about art in the park. Art in the park. We have <laughs> One been of our talking about things. art in the park for so long, haven't we? That's what oh, we do. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know, I know. This is, and we haven't been talking this long about it, but this is our 62nd year. That's right. We're, in, we're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> we haven't been talking about it that long, but isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Years? Like, it's Vermont's oldest continuing arts tradition. I mean, we even did it during our, you know, COVID year. Absolutely. Um, and I remember all the protocols that you all followed. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, think people was... were just, people were happy mm -hmm. to go through whatever they needed to go through for protocols yeah. to keep everybody safe and to be able to still have it. True. It, was, was... A, it was a very gratifying and difficult thing to do but you know so many people thank you know thanked us yes. for still having it and that kind of thing and and like I said so it's August 12th and 13th it's coming really quick and I know you know sometimes um our videos last a little longer but you'll just hear all about what you missed if you don't come and then you'll, you'll be able to <laughs> rev up to come for October for October right? 7th and 8th exactly you don't have to wait too long no if you miss the August one but don't miss the August don't one because it's so good it <laughs> is it's so much fun like we keep talking about we're getting volunteers and you can always volunteer like for October as well but people say oh I love volunteering at Art in the Park because I see everybody it's true. You see people you haven't seen in a year or six months, mm -hmm. you know? There's some people that I only see them that are in the park, it I feels know. like, I know. you know? I know. Um, it's so a lot of fun. Um, so it's in the Main Street Park across from the Chaffee Arts Center, as I said, August 12th and 13th. And um, we have, I know, we can hear the kids upstairs. <laughs> the kids are like thundering around upstairs. And it's a good thing this is such a solid, well-built building. building because it sounds like they're going to come right through on us, on top fun. of us. But so they're having fun. They are. They're having fun. It's all about having fun. It's all so about the arts. It's all about, it's all about fun. And, mm -hmm. and you come to the Chaffee and you just never know what's going to be going on. Kids running around. You don't. Music lessons yeah. happening. Yes, music lessons. Classes. Art exhibits which change all the time. All the time. All the time. So if you're in love with this one, if wait for the next one. You better, better yeah. come in, right? The and next then. one's going to be art in the garden. It's going to oh, be fun. That's right. What a good idea. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. fun. So, at Art in the Park, Stephanie likes to shop. Um. <laughs> and, and I'm not a shopper. That's the thing. Like, if you knew me, I only I buy things for my kids when they need them. I buy things for my animals. I'm not a shopper for just regular. I think though, <laughs> but, shop. but art in the park, yeah, that's different. It's you know the unique things that you can find, and you know can be a favorite thing that you've seen each show you've come to, or something in, you know entirely different. 
Um, and that's kind of the fun of it is to walk around and talk to the uh, exhibitors and um, you know listen to the music and there's kids activities, um, Wonder Feet and the Rutland Free Library and Green Mountain Music and face painting and we have uh, a booth that does um, henna tattoos and there's all kinds of that type of thing to do. Um, but you know we've I mean right now we have over 50 artists, I uh, shouldn't say artists, exhibitors, mm -hmm. artisans, artists, artisans. Um, and there's just, I have a list here of the types. There's, there's so many and I'm excited because there's a lot of new people. Um, because as you know, in, in this, in the industry of art shows, a lot has changed as we were saying from 2020, because a lot of people, you know, maybe they decided to retire or they're doing things differently, but it's interesting that we're getting new people, which I'm very excited about. So there's, of course, fine art and photography. Um, there's pottery, all kinds of fiber, fiber items. I don't know if you remembered last time. Um, there were these weighted blankets and these um, weighted monster, uh, what were they called? Like, they're not stuffed animals, but like stuffed monsters. And they're really good for sensory people uh, who need that sensory. I could really use a weighted blanket, <laughs> I'm telling you. I, I could, could use a monster. <laughs> yes, or, or to, what do they do with babies is swaddle them. Like I could use that. Yes. And when I get overwhelmed, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna check out those weighted blankets and yes. those monsters Yeah, for sure. so she did, she did, she was very well received last year. So it's exciting she's back. and. There's, you know, handmade clothing and there's fabric art and canvas bags and uh, stained glass, beautiful sun catchers. Fairy um, houses, one of my I favorite. Know. Our fairy house has become a fairy village because my daughter now thinks every time we go to art in the park, we, we need another fairy house. Well, it's growing and then you can find things to put around your cool. fairy house. Cool, because for, for the next garden exhibit that I want to do, maybe we'll talk because okay. I want to do some fun things like that. She's got some fun things. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, back to Art in the Park. So there's <laughs> stone candle lamps, jewelry, wooden furniture, bowls, cutting boards. Um, we're going to have, you know, CBD wellness products and we also have aromatherapy and herbal products, jams, jellies, dips. I mean, like I said, it just keeps going and going. Um, we have food. <laughs> we have good food. It smells so <laughs> no. good. Just the minute you walk through those gates, you get the nice people greeting you. You know, yes. and you walk through the gates, and the first thing you smell are those usually the nuts, like the warm the roasted nuts. Yes, and then you know, and then you make your way around to the fudge and the, the and the kettle corn. And the kettle, uh, yes, all of that. We hit all I of know. that, and then the food trucks and the food. Yep, <laughs> for the whatever food. meal time it might be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's like I, there's going to be like ice cream sundays and desserts too. Ooh, yes, that's good for the for the summer one. Yes, yeah. exactly, and it's because some people, you know, you're there for you don't have to stay for a short time or a long time. I mean, whichever, but you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want there. <laughs> stay um, all day. Stay all day. Yes, um, we love that. And like I said, with the live music playing and um, Stephen, Dirty Red Hearts, they'll be playing, and we have a we have a good lineup of. Six, two, four, so, yep, six. Of six wow, different groups that are fantastic. gonna play. So that's that's really nice. And then we also have the Chaffee Bucks that we give away randomly at the gates. So if you come in, you might get a little a little uh, Chaffee Buck and then you get to go spend it like cash mm -hmm. during the weekend. So it's good during the weekend. Um, there's something new that we're gonna do this year. Um, I hope. I hope it catches on because I think it would be really, really fun. Of course, my son gave me this idea because he saw it in Florida. So we're going to do this uh, chalk art contest. So I was thinking chalk around the park. And you know how around the park there's the uh, sidewalk that goes around Main mm -hmm. Street Park? So people can, um, whether you're a family, whether you're a, a child, whether you're an artist, do um chalk a chalk painting like oh, a three by three a yeah idea. i think it's going to be really really cool i hope it catches on and like i said um you know we can try try this year and just keep growing it to different ways but i'm going to do some prizes and so you'll be able to do it on saturday um from 10 to 4 
And then I'm going to urge people to take pictures because you never know lately our weather is strange. But that way we can judge from either pictures or we can judge from what's there. And then people can enjoy them on Sunday or come and watch and, and, and that kind of thing, you know? That's a um, great idea. Yeah, Jim Bouton, who's behind the camera, should do one. I think that would be so fun. Yes, um, Jim, do it. Yeah, because you see all that wonderful chalk, you know, the chalk art. When you, I just, I'm thinking, okay. So hopefully people will do that, and, and it's, it's going to be, uh, like I said, a, a lot of fun. Um, I'm trying to think if there's other new things that we're doing. Um, oh, you know what you're going to see? You're going to see new vests on all the Chaffee volunteers. We were trying Why? to think, like, you know, you do, you do the things that say art, I mean, um, volunteer or whatever. But they get lost or you don't even, you know, people don't see them. So now we have these vests. They're going to be nice and bright and they're actually pink. Ooh. The bright pink because we don't want ones like you're working in a construction. Right. So, <laughs> so, so um, yeah, we have a sponsor, Voidy Electrical, who helped us do that. And um, so all the volunteers are going to wear those bright so now you'll be able to say okay that's who i want to talk to if you yes, have a question or you know who to, or who the right are. right exactly right. Or, or who to thank for this great event that we're putting on because <laughs> as you know um everybody who lives here knows that um you, there's not a fee to get in we just really hope that people can give a donation because mm -hmm. the two art in the parks that we run in august and october are the two major fundraisers for the chaffee and um if anybody's ever put on an event, they know how much work it is. Yeah, it's tons of fun. I mean, I love doing it. Believe it or not, this is my 41st Art in the Park that I've coordinated. Now, I haven't been doing it for, remember, we do two a year, so I haven't been doing it for 40 years, but this is the 41st one, because people will be like, oh, sure, and I'm thinking, yeah, but this is my 41st one, so. Um, I, I mean, I really do enjoy it. And, um, you know, I love having it all come together. And it's, it's like a little family with all the um, artists and artisans, the exhibitors. Uh, Terry J always says, it's like a little, like, he's like, that's the most, the fun part, because you get to talk to everybody. And, yeah. you know, so it is kind of like family. Is he doing and, it this year? No. Oh. And if Terry's watching this, he better. <laughs> he's he better. retired now. And he's, I, been very... he's retired and he's back on, I heard. Right? Yeah. Uh huh. So and I don't he's know. Getting the fun I keep part of being able to decide what he wants. To I know. Do with his and I'll time. keep I'll yeah. keep bugging him because um, I love having him in the show. His art, his phot photography is just so cool. I know. I have one in my living room and one up in my office. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're really. Fan yeah. In, in all ways. I know. I yeah. have some. I, um, <laughs> I have some of his favorites because we had him in here, um, in the chaffee, of course, and yeah, he's he takes wonderful. Wonderful photographs. He really does. The last one I bought was one I think he did of, was it Camel's Hump? You see that one? Yes, and I, I also like the one that. of the blue truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a really cool old blue truck that he has. It's really cool. Um, okay, so Art in the Park, August 12th and 13th, uh, 10 to 5 on Saturday, 10 to 4 on Sunday. We'll start setting up on Friday, so you're going to see a little village start setting so up out there tents go up yep and it's exciting. yep mm -hmm. so we hope people um you know can come by there's still time for volunteering we need lots of volunteers um so we'd love that and um i thought maybe we talk about a little bit about what other things are happening at the chaffee yeah yeah absolutely and so, i was also thinking that we can we have family here from south carolina and i was wondering if i would be able to get them to to come. Um, yeah. They yeah. Have a little baby so they could push her in the stroller and Yes. Yes. I we get the atmosphere. We've been getting calls um which we normally get calls but people are saying um can we bring dogs? Is it dog friendly? I said yes, it's dog friendly. Just keep them on a leash. If your dog is friendly. Yes, <laughs> if your dog I is friendly. Say. <laughs> just keep them on a leash. And um yeah, somebody just called today saying is the chassis open during art in the park? It is open during art in the park. Oh, yeah, um, that's a good, that's a good yeah, thing to Yeah, yeah, because they were coming and visiting as well. So it's kind of, um, it's fun. People plan their vacations to, to come to art in the park. I know. Like we said, 62 years, right? That's pretty special. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty special. Speaking of special, we had a garden party recently with our pollinator garden. So 
We have a 100 foot pollinator garden, if people don't know, that we put in last year. With the native plants, we got um, a grant from the uh, Rutland County Audubon Society. And um, like I said, it's, it's 100 feet, so it's no small garden. It and it's starting to look beautiful. Um, there's also a sculpture garden out there. Nick Santoro has a lot of sculptures out there. Um, so that's fun to look at as well. We've got a wide open space now and I'm so excited because it's really starting to come together because I want to have a wedding, a big wedding. And I, we could, it's perfect for a big tent outside or I mean, of course the chaffee. I mean, can you imagine coming down the staircase? We have a picture of, mm -hmm. um, uh, Charlotte Chaffee standing at the top of the stairs way back in what the probably early 1900s I would say um, in her wedding gown and um, I've known people that have gotten married here not on my watch I want a really big wedding here um, I've done small <laughs> we've done small I know, I know we've had small ones here um, which have been fun but uh, you know I I mean I can coordinate the events so got that all said and yeah so when you say a big wedding like how big of a wedding can I would love be yeah so it depends what the fun thing about the chaffee and you know the challenge is that it's it's quite large but it's got a lot of rooms right. Right. so that's why um, we've made these beautiful grounds um, out behind the chaffee mm -hmm. um, we have that parking lot and that you, we can put a big white tent if somebody wanted that type of a but if somebody wanted one in here, I mean, this is like, I think the chaffee is like 9,000 something square feet, you know, if you did the whole thing. So you could do up and down, you could have the wedding inside and a dinner outside, you, could, you can fit. I fit 25 in each room, sit down, but it's not, it's not gonna be like, you know, huge, a lot, a lot of room. Right. Um, some people like to do hors d'oeuvres and they just like to have like where people are mingling because um, it's more fun. You can have a dance floor in one of the galleries pretty easily yes. in the middle gallery. Um, so yeah, there's so many options. That's kind of how my wedding was. It was indoor, outdoor. You know, yeah. It kind of flowed from the big building out into the gardens. Right. And, right. You know, right. So yeah. To do that, yeah. That's perfect. And the guests loved it because they weren't all just kind of hemmed and it's, into one area. Right. Into a, not that it's not a good thing, but sometimes like having it in a place that's just like a square, mm -hmm. right? You have, it's more interesting and you can be a little more, more intimate with people. Um, but like I said, we have a, a lot of options and that's, that's the fun part. Right. Like I love it. That's why I love when I'm getting a new exhibit going and I have, you know, a new idea because yeah. it's, it's figuring out what art is going to look the best where, uh, and same thing with events when people have events here, I, I love to figure out, you know, decorating and all that kind of thing. So, um, so yeah, so I'm just kind of keep putting it out there. <laughs> It'll happen. Yes. All um, weddings are beautiful too. Yes. And we have, <laughs> and we have, um, over, I think about 15 gardens on the property, the front four gardens near nearest to uh, main street route seven that, um, the Rutland garden club takes care of and they're fabulous. Yeah. Have you seen them? Oh my gosh. I'm not very tall, but I swear they're about up to my neck. That's how beautiful the flowers are. And we have a volunteer, Michelle Hartline, that she works like four hours a week or more helping with all the rest of the gardens, uh, the hydrangeas outside. If you haven't seen them, come see them because some of them are like that big, no kidding. And um, I think they're original to the Chaffee. They're not like the ones you would buy nowadays. They're just beautiful. They're more lacy and they're huge. Um, so as I said, we have like, 15 gardens and we have a butterfly garden we have um you know um we have a water garden that i've been creating which is not a water garden like a pond but a water garden like plants that like water because there's a downspout that out there and things like that um so anyway we have some interesting things and speaking of interesting we have okay so with the garden party i got to talk with a lot of people because i was asking them to come and speak here. <laughs> so I get to talk to a lot of people. So one of the people I talked to was Vermont Bee Lab and the Vermont Bee Lab has a permanent drop-off bee sample 
um, drop-off box here now at the Chaffee. So what happens is a lot of um, beekeepers if they have a concern on their hive or, or whatever, you can bring and you you put it in, um, I think it's alcohol or windshield wiper fluid, but there's a whole thing on the website. And um, they'll, you know, they'll inspect it and they'll be able to tell you about your hive if you're concerned about it. So um, there's not one in this section. I think the closest one is Brandon. So in this section of the state, I mean, so it's kind of, um, you know, exciting and fun that we have that here. We had uh, many, um, well, we had, you know, Be the Change and we had Vermont Echo Studies here and um, the Audubon Society and, you know, the, the Rutland Garden Club did a demonstration. And so now I have all these people that couldn't necessarily do that weekend, but they'd like to come back. And so I'm thinking during our garden exhibit that is the end of August and September, it'll be fun to do some different things. Right. And it's good education for people because pollination obviously is really important. Yes. Um, I, can't, I can't believe the bees we have now. And they're not, they're, they're really just staying on the plants. They're not doing anything but staying around our plants that are the pollinator plants. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of nice that we're doing something for the Absolutely. environment. There, there are areas of the world where people are being paid pollinate plants by hand, like with Q-tips, because there aren't enough pollinators living it's in Sad, them. right? Yeah, I, mean, I know there I are know. areas in Asia where people, people are being hired. It's, it's you know, their job to pollinate plants because the bees and the butterflies and the hummingbirds and the whatever are, what aren't, have you, right. are gone. Yep. Yep. I mean, and we all know what's been happening to the bat population, yeah. so right. you know, we're Mm -hmm. Our pollinators are in danger, and any little thing that you can do in a place like this, or we can right. do in our own home garden. Exactly, so and you can important. learn about native plants by coming to the Chaffee. We have we have labeled them, and I know about the good thing about what I do, and the fun thing about what I do is I get to learn all these different things all the time. So I I know more about um, native plants, but I also can um, in native gardens. But I can also hook people up with different people as well. But um, I guess there's 350 species of bees in Vermont but as you said there was a time not I mean very recently that there people weren't seeing bees right. so it, it's kind of um we're doing our part and then other people can do their part too just plant pollinator plants Absolutely. it doesn't have to be overwhelming it's just doesn't like, have to be 100 feet <laughs> yeah, exactly if, you know everybody yeah. who cares about uh -huh. it can just do a little bit you know. there's one plant in a little garden outside the back kitchen steps here at the mansion and I see like five bees on it usually every day, and it's a um, it's a spirea, and you know, it's just a little. That's one of the littler gardens, so yeah, yeah. you can do your part. Um, and we are always welcoming vol volunteers that want to help us um, maintain the gardens, like you know, weeding or whatever, because many hands make light work. <laughs> um, what else haven't we talked about? We talked about classes a little bit, camps. We have. Every month we have uh, watercolor and sip and dip and figure painting, uh, figure drawing, figure painting, figure drawing and um, book group and a kids painting class. Uh, we have a weekly artery class which people can come and paint um, together with other artists on um, Fridays and we have ukulele on Thursdays uh, for people just to come and play. It's free and um, we started a poor painting class uh, which uh, Jim, you would like that poor painting. You should come. Jim's behind the camera. And <laughs> it's, um, we just had this, was it last week? My week's going to each other. And, um, you know, it's, it's a nice messy one, but it's, you don't have, you're not painting, you're pouring, and then you're creating from there. So we have another one in August. Um, Gail Bills teaches that. And a lot of, it, it was, it filled up really quick. And the second one's almost full. So, that's um, so that's really fun too. And we have a make and take on Saturdays for kids, Saturday mornings, um, which is just a fun time. And people can drop and paint if the RSVP would be good. But if you don't, you just have to be patient with us where you can come in and you can paint. Um, when we're open on Saturdays from 10 to 2, we'll just set you up in the classroom and um, you can just, you know, do something fun. Because sometimes people don't, if it's not, not, not nice weather or if it's too warm outside or if um, you just want something to do with people that are visiting, you can, right. you can do that. Um, lastly, because we're probably running out of time because we just like to talk when we're together, Steph. Um, 
We're going to do a few uh, featured talks about famous artists. Fidel Ganzel is, she just has so much knowledge about um, different artists. And so we're doing our first one um, on the 22nd from uh, starting at six o'clock. And it's going to be, um, there'll be light refreshments. Um, so it's going to be called, well, it is called the gang up at um, Moulin Rouge. And so she was telling me some story about it. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting because you're going to get to, now I'm not going to say his name, right? The uh, fascinating life of Henry de, can Henry you de Toulouse-Lautrec. Thank you. <laughs> Only because, because I took French for a Right, <laughs> right. I could say it in Spanish, but I can't there say it in go. French. Um, so what she's gonna, you're going to get to know him in the talk, but you're also going to be able to learn the culture and all of the people who entertained at the Moulin Rouge. Oh, wow. And um, you'll explore the, the seven elements of art, so you'll be learning something at the same time as you're going to be entertained by these stories. Because let me tell you, she, what she was telling me, it was very entertaining. It was really cool to learn, too, So to hear about, to learn about, you know. So um, anyway, all of those fun things are happening. So don't forget Art in the Park. Yes, that is coming up on August 12th and 13th. Yes. Main Street Park. Stephanie will be there shopping, so you can come <laughs> shop. And, um, or eating. <laughs> or eating. Or maybe doing the, the chalk around the park. Maybe you'll do a, a chalk, a drawing. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> maybe like Catherine. Cr crime maybe scene Catherine. After, <laughs> her daughter, Catherine. Yes. Um, but as I said, you know, people um, can, can do that, and that would be a, a really fun thing for others to see as well. Yes. Because, like we say, the show is called It's All About the Arts, and it's just fun to um, see everybody's creativity and you get inspired by it. Absolutely. And just to know how what much is going on in our community. But yes. So much just even right here. That's right. So right here in our 1890s mansion. Social media, watch the show, yeah. and you'll be in the know. Yeah. So, right? yes. Yeah, so we hope to see you at the Chaffee. Um, our summer hours, we've extended 12 to 7 Wednesday and Thursday, 12 to 5 Friday, and 10 to 2 on Saturday. So stop by soon.